his gun either got jammed or he was trying to reload. Not exactly sure, but I saw my opportunity in my window. So I took it and uh, I ran through the door as fast as I can and uh, just kind of mo jammed him up with the gun when it pointed down. And then we started kind of wrestling for it and scuffling and fighting for it. And um, after he, he let it go with one hand and then when he just had, had it in his other hand, I just took it and I tossed it over the, um, the counter. And uh, I pretty much removed him out of the restaurant with myself. And then he kind of walked off by himself. So you pushed him out of the restaurant? Yes. I mean, what were you thinking about as this was all happening? It wasn't really a, it really, really wasn't a, a, a process of thinking. It was more so of a, a, a now. Um, you have to do this now or it's not going to be, if, if, if I let him load that weapon, it wasn't going to be another window. It wasn't going to be another chance. It was pretty much like shooting fish in a barrel because literally it was pretty much like this, a brick wall behind us, and there was nowhere to go. So that was not, that was from when you grabbed? I grabbed the, close to the, I guess, the barrel of the, of the gun. Um, it's actually burnt in this, I guess, this little region here. Oh, because of it my just hand. got, the gun yeah, had just was, gone off. Yeah, it was just so the, discharging, so wow. um, it's, it's burnt pretty much up here. And then it's actually wrapped here into here. So, um, Yeah, this I, Yeah, I woke up at 3.30 this morning, which is super unusual. And, you know, just went back to sleep and got on Facebook this morning, which I, I don't normally do. It's just like a weird intuition type thing and saw the live video flying over my apartment complex and texted my family back home and told them, you know, that apparently something's happened and that you guys were still looking for him. And my first thought was he must live here or in another local complex because there's not a lot of apartment complexes around here. How does that make you feel normal that what's happening right here? It's a little scary, yeah. Um, I've never felt unsafe here before. So yeah, it's very different. Yeah. Did you see like cop cars coming in here?